Hi everybody, I'm Mike from Arcan Trailer. Today I'm going to show you a brand new floor plan from Keystone Passport called the 221BH. Um, in the past they, they had that kind of 23 foot and that 24 foot and this one kind of fits in between those two. So um, we'll get started on the outside and I'll show you a couple cool new features and then we'll head inside. So, um, you know, not too much new with the, the exterior on Passport at, at first glance. They just kind of updated the graphics and such a little bit. Um, we'll start at the front here. You'll notice nice big baggage door. So that was newly finished this year with Passport. And then last year they actually upgraded the baggage door size. There is a little kind of automatic sensor light in here. I have it in the on position right now, but you can set that so whenever you open the door, it turns on automatically. So that's kind of cool. And then uh, up at the front here, you got, of course, power tongue jack, two propane tanks, Pretty standard stuff underneath, power jacks. Friction hinge door on all the passports now as well. So that can take up to 20 mile per hour winds. So nice handy feature. And then of course you got your outside kitchen, two burner stove, you got your little fridge and it's nicely covered by the power awning. There is outside water here as well. So you got a little spray faucet. There's still an outside shower on the back but it does come with a 14 foot hose so you can still have water in the front of the trailer as well. And then uh, new for Passport this year, you've got a rear ladder. So they've had the, they've added the prep last year and this year they, they went all the way and, and put the rear ladder right on there. And then like all double bunk Passport models, you've got the uh, bottom bike door we call it. So this bottom bunk just folds on up, latches in place and you can slide things like your bikes, your outside barbecue, whatever you want. And then um, this door does lock from the outside but not from the inside. So. You don't have to worry about your kids opening the door or anything like that at night, and they can stay nicely secured inside. Let's uh, head inside and check it out. All right, welcome. So this is, uh, like I said, a new floor plan this year. So they kind of took that Passport 239, now called the 219, and the Passport 240 um, and, and combined them. So they added the slide out to the Murphy bed style plan, okay? So still not as big as that, you know, that 240 was, um, but still gives you a lot of that space and a lot of those features. So you'll notice right away, nice big slide. You've got the U-shaped dinette. Passport does that best. Um, it's got the dimensions of a double bed. You still have a nice big table. The table's shaped properly, so you can actually fit someone behind there. You got nice big drawers underneath. Storage at the back as well. The bottom bench is like a, uh, like a chest. So there's tons of storage there. And then of course you got your massive, you know, closet pantry, however you want to use it. So this is a removable shelf if you want to use that to hang or you can just use it for, for food storage, whatever you want. So tons of space right there. We'll pan around this way, show you the new Murphy bed this year. So as you can see, it starts as a couch, just pops right down. There's latches on either side. I already have one undone just to make things simple. And then boom, you have your full size queen bed. Really, really simple to do. You can leave your mattress set up with some sheets and, and your comforter already. Um, you can even keep your pillows back there. Really, really easy. And then it's a great way to gain some extra sleeping space. Nice deep closets on either side. You've got um, USB ports and power ports underneath your closets, kind of by your nightstands. And then kitchen area, got the L-shaped kitchen, seamless countertops, which is really nice. These are not gonna expand and contract. And then you got the big stainless steel sink. Black fixtures this year, kind of modernize everything. And you can see the nice new cabinetry. All different size drawers for kind of whatever space they have, which is really, really nice. They maximize the space this year with all this new cabinetry. TV up top, right across from your dinette. So ideal placement. Fridge. So you can get this with a um, gas electric fridge or a 12 volt fridge. This is the 12 volt fridge. It's a little bit bigger. Um, the, there's a few advantages with this and a few disadvantages. Um, with the 12 volt fridge, you know, there's no venting on the outside of the unit, which is really nice. There's not a big black panel on the, on the front of the trailer or on the roof. So that's one extra or one less vent that has to uh, be sealed and maintained. Um, this will also run off of your batteries, which can be charged with a solar panel. So if you threw a solar panel on the roof, you can power this fridge indefinitely. It's super efficient. Um, so it's, and a lot of trailers are now, or a lot of manufacturers are now offering this as well, as opposed to the standard gas electric. So something to think about when you're doing your shopping, consider the type of camping that you do. Um, you got your double bunks, 300 pound bunks. So you can definitely fit some adults or, uh, you know, a couple kids. They each have, um, USB ports and outlets. 
and of course a curtain, and then each one has a window as well. Washroom. So you got your standard kind of three piece. There is a little window in there, which is nice. Skylight above the shower, 12 volt fan, stand up shower as well. All right, now I'm gonna show you new for Keystone Passport this year is the Universal Docking Center, okay? So what that means is, first of all, it's a fifth wheel feature. You'll see this in a lot of higher end fifth wheels where they have all your outside connections and you know spray ports and things like that all in one spot. So just on the other side of your, your baggage door, which is on a nice magnetic with a slam latch, um, you'll notice all your connections here. So at the top here, it's just your TV hookups. If you have that kind of thing, you have, of course, a little light here to con so you can see what you're doing, but um, electric stabilizer jacks inside and out. So the switches are nicely protected from the elements. This is the outside shower. Comes with a, a 14 foot hose that just snaps in. Then you have hot and cold, uh, cold water. Um, this is for your satellite prep, uh, which goes up to the roof. Black tank flush for flushing out your sewer. And then you have your fresh water and your city water connections side by side. So if you do have um, city water hookups at your campsite, all you would do is take your fresh water hose, feed it through this bottom cap here, which pops out, and then plug it in. And then you can close your, your door and everything stays nicely covered, nicely protected. Um, this, make sure you're installing this when you're not using it to keep you know little critters and stuff like that out of the docking center. But that's on all Keystone Passports this year. I'm Mike from Arcan Trailer. I'll catch you next time.